Hello, my name is Joe Phillips coming to you from Rebel Headquarters. Okay, today's video is, uh, is probably going to be rather long because it encompasses a rather broad topic, at least in today's politics. Conservatives will pretty much do anything to bring Obama's presidency down. You know, they, they flip-flop on so many issues, it's not even funny. So, let me just start right now. Probably the most famous, the health care bill. Actually, let's go back to the way, very beginning of the presidency. The stimulus package. Now, I remember distinctly during the 2008 ra race when Bush proposed the stimulus package. I know a lot of Republicans opposed it, but also some Republicans actually had made it pass. Like, back then, in the 110th Congress, the Democrats and Republicans had to work together, at least in the Senate, to pass something. And it passed. The bailout passed, and there was absolutely no problems. However, once Obama does it, it all hell breaks loose. They accuse the stimulus money of going to, like, fake congressional districts. The governors don't take Obama's stimulus money. You, didn't, you never heard this from um, the Bush administration, have you? No, you haven't. And that's the truth. Now, why conservatives are doing this? It's probably racism. I'm just going to say that out loud. It's racism. Either that, or they just really despise the Democrat, or a combination of both. I would not be surprised. And then, after the stimulus package passes, guess which is the next major issue on the table? Because Obama has been attempting a, like, broad sweeping changes, and basically has failed, because if, for a number of reasons. One, because he's not even really that liberal in the first place. He always likes to remain in the center of whatever institution he's part of. And in the center of Washington is the right wing. That's just how our American political system is. Left wing ideas, there's no room for them. So, Obama being a center right president did all these compromises on the health care bill. We not, we, thanks to the Republicans, we did not even start with single-payer health care, which is what every single developed country, every single industrialized country in the world has except for us. And the Republicans said, no, 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 that's, that's too radical. I have a feeling we're the ones being radical, you know? If you're looking in a room and everybody else is saying one thing and you're saying another, which one of you is crazy? Most likely you. So, I'm just, I'm just going to say, we need health care. I like single payer. But, no, instead we had this thing called the public option. Now, it's not quite single payer, but it was close enough. And then the Republicans were like, oh, no, 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 still too radical, still too radical. This is a government takeover of the health care. Get your government hands out of my Medicare. Oh my god. Give me a break here. If, I guarantee, if a Republican actually introduced a health care bill, which they of course won't, when the Republicans are in power, you hear nothing about this, because they're in the corporate interest. But, if a Republican actually proposed something, Democrats would actually attempt to compromise with it, okay? Okay. But of course, Obama caved in and took out the public option. And that's when my support for the bill faded, kind of. Then it came back because there were some things left, like the pre-existing conditions clause. And it's, it's, all ha it's a very half-assed bill that's going to cost more than it creates, but, you know, I can live with it. And there were some Republican ideas in the bill. Such as, thanks to um, the Washington Post, let families and businesses buy health care across state lines. Okay? That's a bipartisan idea. 
allow individual small businesses and trade associations to pull together and acquire health insurance at lower prices the same way corporations and labor unions do. Give states the tools to create their own innovative reforms that, help, that lower health care costs. And junk lawsuits. And tax, player, tax break for employer-sponsored insurance. And a private market plan. How much more do we have to compromise? None. Those seem like Republican ideas to me. But guess what? Not one Republican voted for the health care bill in either the House or the Senate. You know, in parliamentary systems, the minority party is called the official opposition. And I think the Republicans figured that out and took it to the next step by opposing everything a Democrat possibly can do. And now we move on to offshore drilling. Yes, I, you know, offshore drilling could have been John McCain's presidential platform. We all remember John McCain, it wasn't too long ago. And remember Sarah Palin yelling, drill, baby, drill, drill, baby, drill. And as soon as Obama caves in and says, okay, we'll allow offshore drilling, unfortunately, The offshore drilling thingy, I forget what it's called, bursts, and now there's 11 gallon, 11 billion gallons of water, uh, not water, oil, flowing into the water, killing all the fish, ruining the, the fishing town's economies in Louisiana, and ruining the seafood industry, which will take a big toll on our economy. And you know what the Republicans say? Well, this was all Obama's plan. So he can show how bad offshore drilling is. And that kind of distanced themselves from the offshore drilling thing. I mean, I, I, I know I didn't like Bush, but at least he stayed with his ideas about 75% of the time. Like, it, it seems that... I just don't know anymore. They'll do anything to oppose Obama. And, um, as the fish are getting killed in the Gulf of Mexico, there's no one to blame but Republicans. Obama wanted to compromise. But, of course, the Republicans, being the nail screeching on the chalkboard that they are, they just can't have it. They just can't have it. Probably because Obama's black. I said it. They probably hate him because he's black. And I hate people who think that way. And finally, and I think in the news, unless you've been under a rock, you've heard about the attempted Times Square bombing in New York City. Luckily, thank goodness it didn't happen, but Turns out a um, Pakistani American perpetrated the thing, and back way back when in the Bush administration and the early Obama administration, Republicans said, "No trials, don't read them their Miranda rights. They aren't citizens, so it's automatically presumed that citizens would be able to get these rights." Now the guy who per perpetrated it, I cannot pronounce his name. Was a U he is a U.S. citizen, and Joe Lieberman, an independent Democratic member of the United States Senate, he might as well be a Republican, he says, no, we should strip him of his citizenship. Now, that's unconstitutional. He, he plans, he says, people should be stripped of their citizenship if they apply for a terrorist organization. Well, what is in your thing as a terrorist organization? They obviously flip-flopped here from U.S. citizens have their rights to we can strip you of your rights if we don't like what you're doing. Now, granted, this this guy should not have done what she, what he attempted to do. But what Joe Lieberman is proposing is not a good idea. Because guess what? You know what this kind of reminds me of? The McCarthy hearings. And 
he ruined people's lives because of a belief they had. Doesn't that sound familiar to Nazi Germany? Where Hitler killed 6 million people for being Jewish? And 6 million others for being various other things that weren't him? Come on now. I swear, these people, uh, these Republicans will do anything to undermine our president. Anything. And since I'm running out of time because I'm not a partner, I'm done.